Good afternoon, Mr. Cellini. You never guess where I've just been, Miss Chaucer. Obviously. Seems pointless to attempt it. Round the corner in Rillington Place. Wanted to see where John Reginald Christie lived. Rillington Place was torn down and renamed years ago. Yeah, so it seems. Still, it's nice to see the spot where it actually happened, where he killed all those women. You think they put up a blue plaque or something? They don't generally provide memorials to mass murderers. Yeah, well, he was special. One of a kind. I went to his house once, when I was young. Why? I had my reasons. <laughs> did you... Did you sense anything evil about him? Did he seem like a killer? He was an unpleasant little man. Good day to you, Mr Cellini. Mixolini. It just stopped. Yeah, it don't work unless this is connected. Oh. Silly me. And so I'm here, I'll give it a little once over, shall I? Stop pissing about and come to bed. Thought you'd given up. Don't you start. My husband hates it. You're in a hurry, aren't you? I'm on company time. You're not going to have to pay a call-out fee. Cheaper at the price. Are you ever going to use that machine? You could use it yourself. You need a bit more muscle on you. Solid as a rock, I am. Have you seen your neighbour, Narissa Nash, lately? Why? Aren't I good enough for you? She's famous. I'm just interested, that's all. I've seen her at a couple of parties. Girls like that don't go out with ordinary mortals. They date rock stars and film directors. Famous people. I could be famous. It's got to be on a TV show or something. One day you'll see my name in the papers, don't you worry. Good luck with that. 
That's not all it's cracked up to be. Is my bottom sagging? No. It's beautiful. Just like the rest of you. You want a drink or something? Sorry, love. Got to go. niece was 14, she was already the tallest girl in the school. Mm -hmm. My poor husband used to say to her, if you don't stop growing, you'll never find a boyfriend. <laughs> Laugh if you could see her now. Why? Does she look comical? Oh, she's got men falling at her feet. Mm. She's in no hurry to settle down. Have you taken your pills today, Gwen? You don't have to keep checking. I haven't got Alzheimer's yet. Oh, remember what the doctor said about your blood pressure? <laughs> Well, girls these days have more choices than we did. If I was young again, I wouldn't get married. Would you, Gwen? I never did. I was a young man once. Dr. Stephen Makepeace Reeves. He was my mother's doctor. He'd come to visit Mummy, then take tea in here with me. He wanted to marry me. What happened? marry someone else. Oh, imagine that. After he promised to marry you. He never oh. actually asked me. When two people truly love each other, these things are understood. It's all 50 years ago now. What does it matter? You'll have to go. This trivial conversation is wearing me out. Mm. Charming. <laughs> I'll leave your... Dutchy biscuits in the kitchen. <laughs> we'll pop in tomorrow.
Hey! <laughs> Hello. Oh. I'm sorry I'm late. I oh. got caught up. Don't worry about it. <sighs> you all right? Oh, thank you. Guy. Yeah. Sure? Yeah, just a bit tired, that's all. Has that man been bothering you again? Yeah, he's been around my house once or twice. Well, then the police should do something about it. Yeah, well, they can't. Not unless he commits a criminal offence. It's all right, Dad. I can look after myself. Shouldn't have to. Do that more often. I know, I know, I know. I know. I know. And then you'll be away working. I'll find some time. Hello, Rissa. Daryl, hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. I've good. seen you all over the papers. Oh, yeah, I know. It's been a bit hectic. Yeah. yeah. How's that yours? Yeah. Yeah? No, I love it. <laughs> so do you not get bored? Just walking up and down like that. We photograph for hours. Yeah, sometimes. Hmm. It's not exactly brain surgery though, is it? No, no, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's funny to think you were just the <laughs> little kid across the road with the oh, teeth embraces. <laughs> you're what, six foot five and driving a jag. <laughs> I know. Well I'll um I'll see you around. Don't get any taller. <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> Keep in touch. Yeah. I'll text you. Bye. Bye. It's funny you should turn up just now. A regular man let us down yesterday. There's a machine out, one of the cross trainers. Whatever he's charging, I'll undercut by 10%. I'll have to speak to Madame Odette. She's the owner. I thought for a minute you wanted to join. We've got a waiting list as long as your arm. Let's get a few famous people coming in, though. One or two. Most of them are really nice. What's your name then? Daniela. Daniela? That's cute. I'll just go and see what Madame Odette says. you something, Gwen. Thought you'd be interested. I do prefer my full name, Olive. Gwen always sounds so vulgar. It's nice. Now, let's see, where is it? Um, what is it? Your remarkable great niece half naked to some fashion show. No, it's what we were talking about the other day. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it. Why do I have to make this print so small? 15th of June, Eileen Margaret, beloved wife of Dr. Stephen Reeves. I think it's him, your young doctor. His wife was called Eileen. Small world, I always say. Yes, well, doesn't everybody? No. He should have married me. I was his first love. Madame says if you fix this one for free, she'll consider a contract. She said not to talk to the clients and don't use any oil in case it gets on the towels. They're Egyptian or something. Don't worry. I am using this what I... Entrez. 
You missed your appointment last week, Narissa. I was away. I text to cancel. I don't respond to text or Twitter or any of that nonsense. Next time, phone the desk. Sorry. Sit. Don't speak of a dark man. His name beginning with a P? Or perhaps C? Could it be a D? The stones were ambiguous. It could be a D. He is your destiny, for better or worse. Could it be Daryl? Fate will decide. Is it working? Good as new. You remind me of someone. A film star. Who is it? Kim Hunter. Who's that then? Big star in the 40s. Do you want to uh, get a drink later? I don't mind. But you're better. My flat's in Oxford Gardens. I'll wait for you at the top of the street. Oxford Gardens? You're kidding me. Why, what's funny about that? Never mind. I'll tell you later. It's a fitness dress. I got it at Topshop. I googled that actress you said, and she was pretty. Well, you look smashing. This place is famous, you know. Why is that? Reggie used to drink here. You wouldn't know, being foreign. John Reginald Christie murdered six women round here. That's horrible. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> Just one thing, though. One of the girls he killed was a tart called Ruth First. Guess where she lived? Oxford Gardens. <laughs> that you? You're giving me the creeps, mix. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come here. It's all right. It's just, it's interesting, that's all. I can afford. There's this woman I know. A famous model. You should see her place, it's incredible. She's probably rich. She can afford it. So I uh, come to my place next time if you like. Why do they call you Meeks then? It's a nickname. Short for Michael. My mum gave it to me back before she met my stepdad, Javi. <sighs> Things were good back before Javi came along. Just me and mum on our own. He was a user. Real bastard. He beat me up. Half killed me once. He said I tried to kill my half-sister Shannon with a ketchup bottle. Did you? Of course not. Just a kid. Poor me. Didn't you Do you believe in ghosts? Seriously? I do, yeah. Seen something. Yeah. Take this.
have loved it then. I wish to discover the uh, whereabouts of a Dr. Stephen Reeves. He lives in Woodstock, Oxford. If you want to search something, there's a screen over there. Go by the hour. Dr. Stephen Reeves, Oxford. There we go. Books. Says how sad he is about losing his wife. She stole him away from me, you know. Thank you. You can go now. My little place. You look good. Your favourite dress. <laughs> I'm ever so glad to see you, Weeks. I'll, uh, I'll make us a little drink, shall I? The cocktail, all right? Mm. One I made up myself. Christie's next victim was Muriel Eddy. While she was unconscious, he raped and then strangled her. Why do you read about stuff like that? Because I'm interested in criminology. I doubt whether anyone in the world knows more about Christie than me. What's this? Uh, uh that's private. It's, it's personal. That's all. That's Nerissa Nash. She comes in to see Madame Odette. Why do you have her up there? Because she's beautiful. You wouldn't say that if you saw her up close. Her skin's a bit greasy and she's got lots of spots. Amazing what you can do with airbrushing. Shut up. Called a boot camp because it's got such a kick. Cheers. Oh, Mix, that's revolting. The flavors don't go together.
with your sport. Eh? Miss Chaucer went to Christie's house once. Who's she? My landlady. Must be for an abortion. That's how he got goals to go around there. Pretended he'd fix their little mistakes. I wonder why he didn't strangle her like all the others. Just shut up about Christie, will you? It's creepy. Okay, there's another drink then, shall I? She's nothing special. I see a dozen girls a day prettier than her. Without all the slap on, she's just ordinary. I'll just have wine, not that stupid cocktail. I said, put that down. Look what you've done, look what you've done, look what you've done, look what you've done, you've, done. you've spoiled everything! My stepper won't work. Can you come round tomorrow morning? Hello? Are you OK? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, fine. Come round at 10 o'clock. Don't be late.
wanted to be absolutely certain of my dates, and I was right. Mm. It all happened in the same week in February 1953. Shall I be mother? <laughs> we had a housemaid called Bertha, a frivolous girl, not a day over 15. She told me that she was with child. She said she wanted to get rid of it. I was shocked. I had no knowledge of such things. She asked me to accompany her when she visited the, um... The, the abortionist, dear? Quite. The man's name was John Reginald Christie. Christie the murderer? He looked dismayed to see me. Of course, I realised afterwards he'd wanted Bertha on her own so he could kill her. Didn't he rape those poor girls too? After they were dead? Necrophilia, they call that. Uh, what else happened? Last week, I wrote a letter of condolence to Dr Reeves. My first contact with him in 50 years. I haven't heard back from him. So I was thinking, what if he passed by that day and saw me waiting outside Christie's house? His practice was just around the corner, it's quite possible. But he wouldn't have known anything about Christie then. No, but afterwards, when the brute was tried and hanged, maybe Stephen remembered my presence at the house, put two and two together and thought... That it was you who had the abortion. That's why he never married you. Write to him again. It wouldn't do any harm, would it, dear? Yes. That's exactly what I shall do. <laughs> I'll explain everything. You bastard, I've left about a dozen texts and messages. What are you on about? My runner's bus, remember? I waited in all morning. I'm not in the mood, Colette. Why don't you just get yourself a vibrator? Don't you dare speak to me like that. I'll speak to your boss, get you fired. No, you won't. I'll tell him you were harassing me. Then I'll come to your house and I'll tell your husband how you'd like me to fuck you in the bathroom on the stairs. Up against the window. Don't call me again.
God, I'm so happy to see you. Are you a funny way of showing it? Oh, I'm sorry, there's this, this man following me. We should tell the police. No, I've had one before. They get fed up after a while. Well, um, I was just going to go for some lunch. Maybe you'd like to... Yeah, I'd love to. OK. No, I can't, actually. I'm going to see my agent, but... All right, well, then, what about some dinner? You can come up to my place if you like. Yeah. Yeah? That'd be really nice. Cool. OK, well, I'll, I'll call you. I promise. OK. <laughs> we'll see you later. Yes, I have a woodworm infestation. I need someone as soon as possible. Does woodworm give off an odor of decay? It's as if something's died up there. Good. Thank you. Mr. Cellini! Mr. Cellini! I'm feeling quite unwell. I, I think I have influenza. You ought to be in bed, Miss Chaucer. I need you to phone my friend Olive Fordyce. Her number is in the book. Can you manage that? Just about. Please don't make any noise. My head is pounding. I... <sighs> is coming in the morning. Mm. I'll wear my new blue dress. <gasps> Dr. Reese will want me to look nice. <laughs> you just try and rest in. Mm. Mm. You'll have to let the doctor in in the morning. I can't come by until later. Well, I can't wait in all day. I've got to go to work. Don't worry. She's given me a key. <laughs> Morning. I've been taking sugar my whole life. What day is it? Wednesday. You'll have to let the woodworm people in. I expect they want to take up the floorboards, find out what that ghastly smell is. What are they, um, what are they called, these woodworm people? I can't remember. Miss Chaucer, I'm her doctor. Uh, yeah, first floor door on the right. Hi, I'm from Hi. Woodridge. Yeah, we uh, we don't need you after all, actually. Miss Chaucer's ill in bed. Oh, well, I can still take a look at the infestation. There isn't one. We don't want you, now get lost. You need to sign this. Now piss off. Miss Chaucer has pneumonia. She should be in a hospital. I'm sending for an ambulance. How long will she be away for? A few days at least. That's great. For her, I mean, she'll be looked after, won't she? Hi, this is Dr Jackson. Can I request an ambulance?
I just thought I'd take the chance to, to tidy up a bit. Oh, <laughs> great minds think alike. We're going to surprise Gwen by doing a thorough spring clean. Uh, we've just come to see what supplies we need. We'll make a start first thing in the morning. She keeps all the cleaning stuff downstairs in the kitchen cupboard. I don't think Gwen would want you in her bedroom. But it was very kind of you to think of helping. Right, I'll show you where everything is, shall I? Oh, if you would. No, no need, thank you. God, this place is a glory hole. Absolutely reeks in here. So you need to add um, a mop, wax, um, something for the lab, uh, a disinfectant, air freshener. We'll be back in the morning. We'll let ourselves in. Bye. To all.
was supposed to come yesterday. We had an arrangement. Sorry, I was ill. If I cannot rely on you, I'll get someone else. It won't happen again. There are two runners out of order, four and seven. Okay, I'll take a look. You knew Danila, didn't you? Who? Skinny girl who worked on reception. Left without a word. I only met her once, sir. No need for that. She's probably just run off with some boy. I'll go ballistic if you keep her waiting much longer. It won't be much longer. It'll be a week maximum. Are you all right? Yeah, it's a bug. Don't give it to me. Marissa, wonderful to see you. So, you know, the car's parked on the yellow line. Do you want me to move it for you? It's OK, I can do it myself. You look beautiful this morning. That's a lovely top you're wearing. Lovely girl. Heart of gold. You know Narissa Nash? Yeah. They're yeah, old friends. You know what I mean? Really? I just, uh, I heard a noise. I thought it might be a, a burglar or something. Was it? No. No, it was nothing. Queenie couldn't get in this morning. She said you'd bolted the door. Don't know what she's talking about. She must be confused. She's no spring chicken, is she? She's as sharp as you or I. You'll be pleased to know Miss Chaucer's coming home tomorrow. She won't be able to get up too much, so you'll have to help her out. Just going to do some shopping for her now. I could do that for you if you like. Well, I won't say no. It'll save my legs. If you're sure, I'll give yeah. you the list. Champagne, but a friend of mine said that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Sorry I'm late, I couldn't decide what to wear. You know, as models are like, late for our own funerals. No problem, everyone just go here. Everyone? <laughs> you invited my parents? Yeah, yeah I thought it might be nice. Ages since we've all seen each other. Come on. It's nice to see a young girl who enjoys her food. <laughs> Especially in your line of work. My daughter eats whatever she likes. Oh, she never puts on her hands. <laughs> no, that's not true, Mum. Mm -hmm. You have to watch my figure like everybody else. It must be fun, though, all that travelling and the glamour. Mm. Of course. But it gets lonely. Everybody wants a piece of you. Can't stand all that celebrity culture. All these actors and models and whatever. There's such a bunch of vacuous, no-talent idiots. <laughs> No, I wasn't speaking of Marissa, of course. <laughs> Good. <laughs> just, just generally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat>
Yeah, and I'm shagging Brad Pitt. We're moving in together, actually. Of course. Yeah, well, I'll bring her in and show you, and we'll see who's laughing then, won't we? Your cooking was wonderful. Oh, you can thank Delia Smith for that. Oh. I thought you cooked it yourself. Is she a friend of yours? Is <laughs> she a friend? I'm teasing you, darling. Of course, I know who Delia Smith is. And like, all of us models are dumb, you know. What was that word you used? Vacuous? I'm sorry. But I really didn't mean you. Mm, yeah, you did. But it's okay. Hey, have you, um, have you any more trouble with that stalker guy? Hey! He spoke to me. He came right up in my face. I was really scared. Oh, next time it happens, call me. You mean it? I won't let anyone hurt you. Thanks. Good night, Daryl. Go home now. Well, an ambulance would take you home this afternoon, dear. Uh, can't stay in this place another minute. The more I know people, the more I like books. I'll catch some horrible bug in here. I suppose we could get you a taxi, dear. Taxis are a wicked price. Well, we'll pay for it, won't we, Olive? I have never taken charity in my life, and I'm not going to start now. Don't you know someone with a car? Well, I suppose I could ask my niece. The one with the extraordinary name? It's a qua, not extraordinary at all. Her husband's Ghanaian. She can only say no. She'll be very rude if she does. Thank you. It was kind of you to drive an ancient creature like me, Miss Aqua. It's Nash. I changed my name when I started modelling. How is the bus? Perfectly comfortable. Very quick. There. That's the window. That's where I saw him. I'm sure you're not getting confused. I'm not gaga yet, you know. I had my key, but he'd bolted in a door. And I'm almost positive he was there in your bedroom. I might think something if you were absolutely positive. Let's see if he dares bolt the door against me. You sure you didn't imagine the whole thing? Oh, Olive, did you remember the Bourbons? What are you doing in my kitchen? Mr. Cellini? I thought I'd make a nice cup of tea to welcome you home. One of my friends will do that. This is quite a coincidence. What are you doing here? I live here. What brings you here, may I ask? My mum is Olive's niece. You found out where I lived, didn't you? No. It's just a coincidence. Oh, fate bringing us together. You are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. You can't speak to me like that. Why not? It's not like we're strangers, is it? Why 
all of us knew we were connected. It was in the stars. You and me, Larissa. Together forever. We need to go. Mum, can we go now? See you very soon, darling. Is Mr Cellini your boyfriend? No. I don't even know him. Mum, please don't raise your voice. This is my house. I dislike being shouted at. I'm terribly sorry, Dad. Please excuse us. Bye, Queenie. Oliver, I'll call you. Uh, I'll uh, put your flowers in the flowers. <gasps> if you must. <laughs> you what? Thank you. Thank you. I had it cut um, just recently. I like your shoe. I really like it when it's all in the afro. And I knew you would come and see me. Mr. Cellini! Has there been any post for me? I'm expecting an important letter from an old friend. It will all be on the table downstairs. I'm going to bed now. I'm very tired. Please don't make any noise. Can I... can I help you to bed, Miss Chaucer? Certainly not. You some goodies. You needn't have bothered. I've no appetite. Is this yours? I must be joking. I found it under my bed in my house. What is it? Well, I know you've never been married, Gwen, but I didn't think you were that innocent. It's a pair of knickers. Girls wear them now. It's called a thong. Oh, please don't tell me this thing is yours. Not a thing, Gwen, a thong. I asked you a question. <laughs> of course it's not mine. Do you think it would fit round my hips? I wish. What about Queenie? No, it's not ours. It belongs to some young girl. Then what is it doing here? I don't know. Well, perhaps Mr Cellini entertained someone while you were in hospital. Perhaps they were larking about. In my bed? Well, I suppose you could ask him. Don't you worry. I intend to. <laughs> How do you sleep, Reggie? took your time. What do you want? You have been digging in the garden. I can see where the earth has been turned. Why? Well, I thought I'd help you out a bit. Rescue the flower pits. You can't say they didn't need it. The garden has got nothing to do with you. I also have reason to believe you have been tampering with my post. A very important letter has gone missing. <laughs> right. OK, well, I haven't tampered with any of your post. That's a lie. How dare you accuse me of untruthfulness? You still haven't given me a convincing reason for being in the garden, let alone the thing. I found this in my bedroom. What was it doing in there? I don't know. Maybe it was one of your friends, the ones that are always letting themselves in, snooping around. Have you asked them? I have had enough of your insolence. You were seen in my bedroom. I'm giving you notice, Cellini. You're evicted. You can't.
can't actually do that. <laughs> I've got a protective tendency. What were you really doing out there? Burying something? Jewelry? The family silver? I shall check. Have no fear. You can do what you like. I haven't done anything wrong. Well, let the police be the judge of that. Oh, I see you have something to hide, Cittlini. It's Selene. I'll ring the police. Tomorrow morning. Without fail.
Gwyneth's here. Yoo-hoo, Gwen. It's only me. Nice cup of tea. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, oh, Miss Chichelini. Uh, I was just looking for Miss Chaucer. <laughs> She's gone away to convalesce. Somewhere near Cambridge. She's got friends there. Uh, when did she go? About eight o'clock this morning. Yeah, I went down to get my post, and there she was, all packed up, waiting for a taxi. Taxi? Gwendolyn? <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I don't suppose you know the name of those friends? She didn't say. No, she just said she'd be back when she felt better. Oh. Well, thank you very much, thank you. Shall I take that? Oh, yes, thank you. Okay. Oh. Be praying? Nonsense. Only trying to help. When did Gwen ever take a taxi? She's far too tight with money. Well, it's true. Oh. I've never met your friends in Cambridge. Eureka? Oh! <laughs> Ah, Cambridge, Cambridge, Cambridge. Mm. Still here, then? Oh, well, we're trying to find the address of Miss Dawson's friend. <laughs> we're very anxious to know. We'd hoped she might have confided in you. <laughs> she said to leave the key mm. for when she gets back. You won't be needing it now. She's better, will you? I shall give up my key to Miss Chaucer and no one else. <laughs> OK. Keep your pants on. What's your blood pressure at your age? What a terribly rude person he is. Can't find any Cambridge address. Snoopy, snoop, snoop, clean, clean, clean. Just nose, 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 fuss, fuss, fuss. This carpet is disgusting. It's covered in cat hairs. She's forgotten her ring. And her pulse. Something strike you as odd about that bed, Queenie. There's no top sheet. Well, Gwen is such a peculiar person. Perhaps she just sleeps with a blanket and an eider down. She's not that peculiar. I saw it when she was ill. I remember thinking how grubby it was. So where is it now? Standing out here, just staring at the ground. It's terrible to say. But it looks like a grave. Too active an imagination, Queenie. When we were children, we used to go round to Rillington Place and stare at Christie's house. He buried some of his victims in the garden. Nobody's buried Gwendolyn. That was dug before she came back from hospital. The weeds are already growing through. I just have this feeling. I like him, I've always liked him, but it just feels a bit different now. And does he like you? I think so. He said to me, if this guy keeps hassling me and, and coming round, I should give him a phone call. So right now, I'm actually thinking I want this guy to harass me just so I can call Daryl. Be careful what you wish for, my darling.
Oh, it's another meeting of the Women's Institute. Really? So ill-mannered. I'm beginning to think Gwen never went to Cambridge. Why would he lie about it? Perhaps he wants to take over the house. I've heard some tenants do that to elderly landlords. He's exactly the type. She hasn't gone anywhere, has she? We're letting all the hot air out. This place is beautiful. Wow, this is a lovely room. I've thought about this a lot. Me here in your house. I expect you have too. I think you should leave now. You, you sent me that picture, remember? You signed it with a little heart. Two mix, love Narissa. You signed it. I have people at the agency who do that for me. They sign it for me. <laughs> That's what I love about you. I love your sense of humour. I'm not joking. Get out now. You know, every time you look at me, I know what you're thinking. I know. The messages you're trying to send me, I can read you like a book. It's like it's like reading music. Your your lips when they move. I feel it too. I feel it too. Leave now or I'll call the police. Interested, Nerissa. I'm a bit parched. Would you, would you rustle us up a nice cup of coffee, my love? The stalker is in my house. Can you come now, please? I'm really scared. Who are you calling? Just a friend. Look, I've got a meeting and I really have to go. You wouldn't lie to me, would you, Nerissa? I really do have to go. Yeah, but meetings, they can wait. And this is love we're talking about. Love and romance. We don't want this really while we're getting intimate, do we? You smell beautiful. You do. You don't have a chocolate biscuit, I could have, do you? You models and your crazy diets. You, just, you need someone to look after you. Come here. Stay here if you don't mind. I do mind. I'll sit down. I've been in love with you. 
since the first time I saw you. <laughs> you think that's romantic? I love you and you love me. I would like to hit rough with so I thought you were better than that, but if that's how you want it... No! 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 Go away from me! Go away! I love you, Larissa! Larissa! I adore you! Get out! Get out! No! I'm Ixalini! Get out! What? What have I done? Just leave me! No, move me! Move me! Get out! Larissa! Tell him I love you! Tell him you love me, Larissa! Tell him you love me! Swing around to Wigan, I'll break your neck. Do you understand? <laughs> mate, mate, <laughs> do you really think a girl like Narissa could possibly fancy a pathetic pervert like me? <laughs> a crap stained little weirdo with your <laughs> chain store clothes and 20 quid in the bank? I'm not dead! Don't make She's out of your league, sunshine. She loves me! Girls like me! Girls like me! She loves me! Girls like that do not date pond life. <laughs> And repeat after me, okay? I am a piece of dirt, and I, I'm a piece of dirt, and I will never bother Narissa again. Go on. Come on, piece of dirt. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry, Jeffy. I'm sorry, Jeffy. I'm sorry, Jeffy. I'm sorry, Jeffy. What are you on about? What the hell are you on about? I'll just get lost before you get blood in my shirt. Chilini lived here? No, I'm not sure, dear. I think not about a year. It was out here Olive saw him. Where are you going? None of your business. The police are here. They're going to want a word with you. I should have stopped you interfering a long time ago. Reggie knew how to deal with women like you. Reggie? Come a step near, I shall scream. Where are you? Come on, scream. <laughs> Thought you might have buried something. Oh, Olive, what's happened? Shalini, 
was yet. Had a knife. Oh, I'm going to need to search Chalini's flat. Mm. Do you know if there's any spare keys? Uh, Gwen has um, oh. keeps them all in the tumble dryer. to his flat. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, ladies, would you mind waiting here? Sergeant, there's no sign of him. OK, the car's nice too. Oh, my God! Mm. What's that smell? It must be the damp. No, that's not damp. Officer, <laughs> Officer, what's this dreadful spell? Oh. Oh. Shit. Get an address for Nerissa Nash. You don't have to leave yet. Sorry, babe. Things to do. Things like what? Just stuff, you know. I'll call you. When? Soon. Don't do this, Daryl. Don't do what? Be the kind of guy who sleeps with me once and doesn't call me. You'll be paranoid. Just read it. The car, the Nilla, she was next to me. She was next to me. And the old woman, she was. She was um... oh. oh my god, that's why she was so cold. She was, she was already dead. She was already dead. That's why she was so cold. I didn't have to kill her. God, that's why she was so cold because she. And I didn't need to kill her. I didn't need to kill her. Yeah. Do it now. Yeah, yeah. Do it now. I love you, Nerissa. No, I'm not Christy. I'm not the murderer. I love you, Nerissa. I love I'm you, Nerissa. I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. You do not say anything, but if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. I did it for you, Nerissa. I did it for you. Nerissa, I'm <laughs> It's just a scratch. I'll survive. Larissa! What about me? the floorboards in her own house. I mustn't touch anything. Might, might be evidence. It's a shame for the police to see the house in this condition. You do realise she's dead. I think I've known for days. I never really liked her, you know. She wasn't easy. Can't be Cellini, we'd have heard him come in. It's probably just the wind, I'll go and have a look. Do be careful, Olive.
I am Salah Balseyev. What are you doing here? I live here. Please, come. See. Oh, you, you live in here? Uh, I am asylum seeker. I am educated man. In Chechnya, I am an engineer. <laughs> Goodbye, ladies. Goodbye. Bill, what happened? Oh, good afternoon. Is Miss Chaucer in? Um, Gwendolyn has recently passed away. It was very sudden. Very. Um, would you like a cup of tea? Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Did you know Gwen well? Oh, we were acquaintances many years ago. Uh, my name is Reeves, Dr. Stephen Reeves. She wrote to me recently, so I thought I'd look her up for old time's sake. So you were the one she was going to marry? Oh, I don't know if there was any question of that. She was a sweet girl, but very young. Whatever she may have believed, I never saw her in a romantic light at all. 